All right, so now I'm gonna move on to the questions that you guys left me on my YouTube video. Whew, I feel like I need to wake up. Wakey, 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 wakey. <laughs> 12:30 at night and I'm starting to get a little bit tired. So, Caddy Addy asks me, "How did you get your how did you get such a nice voice?" Wink face. Um, I don't know, it's funny because sometimes I'll be super excited and super ecstatic and super girly and have like a really cute voice. And then other times I'll feel I feel like I kind of revert to a more monotone masculine voice. I never ever had a masculine voice, ever. Like never once in my life. Everybody always thought I was a girl because of my voice. But I feel like because back when I was presenting as a male, I was always afraid to have such a high voice. So whenever I talked to somebody or whenever, like yeah, whenever I talked to somebody, I would always revert to this kind of like, not even, not even a deep voice, just like, I would refrain from being like, oh hi, oh hey, you know? And I'd be more like, oh hey there, like what? Or, I can't even do it. I'm so like used to being free and being normal that, I don't know. In short, um, that's just my voice. I, that's just my voice. That's my voice. <laughs> that's my voice. Marcia Scott asks, I have, well, she says, I've been following you for a while now, but have not kept up on everything you have put out. But you probably talked about this already. Is your mom so supportive? I hope she is because you're still the same person and quite, and frankly, quite beautiful. Continue to live your life and stay positive. Thank you so much, um, Marcia. Yes, my mom is still supportive. My mother will always be supportive of me no matter what I do. My, my family will always be supportive of me. Um, I'm very, very, very extremely lucky to have that um, support in my life and I don't take it for granted at all. I know I'm super, super, super lucky to have such sweet people in my life. Every day is, a, is hard, some days harder than others and it's been actually quite easy lately, um, knock on wood. So yeah, I'm super, super lucky um, and super appreciative of all the support that I have in my life. JJ asks, thanks for the great advice. Just subscribe. I was wondering if hormone replacement helps with balding slash receding hairline. Um, yes, actually it has. If you look at my hair, and I kind of said it in my last hormone update video, but if you look right here, I have like hairs that are starting to grow back. Um, I have a little bit of a receding hairline, if you will. Right here, and the hairs are starting to like fill in and, and grow back. So, who knows how much, I don't know, apparently studies haven't been done yet, as of yet, to see how much um, hair grows back. But yeah, it definitely does help. Lorenzo Flawless, have you ever given a guy head on the first date? Oh! Who do you think I am, sir? Dayton Tharp, scariest getting clocked story. When I first... <laughs> Because of the last question, when I first saw this question, I thought a scariest getting choked story. And I was like, you guys, like you people. I don't specifically have a scariest getting clocked story. I think anytime I'm on the subway by myself, I feel like it's kind of scary because I don't know why, but the subway kind of freaks me out a little bit. I think it's because there's always weird people on the subway. So yeah, there's, there's no specific times that come to my mind. I'm just going to say all subway rides by myself in general. Danny Yobo asks, question, will you be showing your real hazel eyes in the future? Your blue contacts are hot too, but your pretty face looks so more hotter with your natural hazel eyes. So yeah, that's my question. Will you be showing your natural hazel sexy eyes? Well, lucky for you, Danny, I have my regular contacts on today. So this, these are my natural hazel eyes. I really love wearing my natural eye color with like a wine color on my waterline. I feel like it really emphasizes the green in, in my hazel eyes and I really like that. So I've been doing that a lot lately. Thank you. Kimmy Shaw asks, Corey, are those things, are there things that you miss doing as a boy? No. Plain and simple, no. I've always wanted to be a girl. I've always loved girl things. The only thing I miss doing as a boy is the thing that's still here that doesn't work the way it did when I, when I was a boy. And I feel like if it's still here, it should work the same way because if I still have to have it, 
it should still work the same way, but it doesn't. So that's annoying. But James Ellis asks, what's your favorite sexual position? Um, no, <laughs> no. SHGH5XO asks, question for upcoming video. What is the mass of a proton moving at the speed of light? I don't know, sir. Um, the limit does not exist. Stanley McLean. That's not a question either. It says, still love those lips. Thanks. Jim Wu asks, what made you really decide that you were transgender rather than, rather than just a flamboyant gay man? Well, Jim, like I've said before, um, my whole life I've fit in with women. Um, I've always wanted to do raw things. I've always just had a natural femininity to me. I don't know how else to say it. It's just it's something that I've always known and it's something that just feels right. I mean, I tried the gay life and I didn't fit in and it, it didn't feel right. And I always knew in the back of my mind that there was a secret or there was something that I wasn't, you know, allowing out or opening up or, you know, setting free or whatever metaphor you want to use. I hope that answers that question for you, Jim. Kay Savan asks, what's the best thing about hormones? I would have to say the best thing about hormones so far, I think, is my skin. I, it has to be the hormones that is changing my skin. My skin, I don't, I literally do not break out anymore. Um, I'm not super, super oily anymore like I used to be. My skin is a little bit smoother. The texture is getting better and better day by day. And definitely the skin. And Michaela. Hi, Michaela. <laughs> Hi, Corey. It's Michaela. I am really happy to see you back on YouTube again. I've missed you a lot, girl. Good news that you're posting more videos in October. Take care and love, well. That's not a question, Michaela, but thank you so much. You are such a sweet, sweet girl, and you're always posting and commenting on my videos, showering me with lots of love um, and support, and I really thank you for that. So those are all the questions. So that is the end of... Oh, wait, no. There was two more DMs, direct messages that I got that I saved, so I thought I would um, answer those quickly, too. I'm not going to say these people's names because obviously they're direct messaging me. I feel like they want to be a little bit more private. Hey girl, how's it going? Uh, I was wondering if you've experienced any mental changes and sexuality changes, any negative effects on your hormones. Thank you so much for being open and a leader. Aww. Mental changes, yes, but I would probably just say again, just being able to be myself. I've been a lot more positive. And having said that, I've been a lot more emotional in the sense that like I express my emotions a lot easier. And now having it been five months, six months? Has it been six months? Oh my god. I feel like I'm a little bit more more stable. Like my roller coaster is kind of like on a standby at the moment. Yeah, so I would definitely say that um, I'm a lot more positive. Um, and happy and, and comfortable with myself. And then sexuality changes, I would say no. Like I still like guys. I hope that helps. And this person says, hello, I'm a trans person from Toronto who's looking to start HRT ASAP. Do you have any suggestions on where to go and how to start? Thank you, love your videos. I would definitely even just ask your doctor if they're that you have now if they are willing. Tell them that you are willing to help help them if they'll help you. That's what my doctor was going to. That's what I was gonna do with my doctor, and then I ended up finding another doctor. So yeah, don't be afraid to ask the doctor that you have now if they'll help you because even though they're not specialized in it, you can still like look up and they can still ask other doctors. And if they're willing to learn so they can help other patients uh, in the future. I feel like that's a good thing as well, um, but if not, you can always call, I mean, Google it, as silly as it sounds. There are LGBT um, helplines that you can call as well, so definitely give one of those a call maybe. But yeah, I wish you good luck. Those are all the questions that I have. Quite a few actually, thank you so much, I was actually scared that I wasn't going to get any questions. So yeah, that was super fun. I hope you guys enjoy learning a little bit more about me. Thank you so much for... Oh wait, no. And the last question that she asked was, what superhero are you? And I would definitely be Sailor Moon. No questions about it because I relate to her so much as I just said in like one of the questions previous. I love Sailor Moon. I don't even like any other superheroes, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram down below. Subscribe. I am trying to post every Tuesday and Friday, so I hope you guys are enjoying that. Um, and I will see you in my next video. 
hope you're having a good day. Mwah. Bye. Bye, guys.